start our division because up till now we have known the some methods for the multiplication addition and subtraction see in the division the number 1 is very important because we think that number 1 is indivisible it cannot be divided but in a play of numbers we pretend that one can be divided in in the same way that the we absolute in vedic maths the god is known as absolute pretends and appear to be divided in all manifestation within the universe that is god is present everywhere he is divided in all respects and he is present in everywhere in the universe that is why one is known as god or absolute we call it absolute that is suppose we know that one is divided by two what will be what will happen the quotient will be zero and the remainder will be one see there is no difference in one it remains as it is that is nothing happens to one when it is divided by two or any other number okay and so we know that one cannot be divided then what we call it any other number can be divided into any other part in that we can say we can do the division see in the division sometimes there is an addition uh, there is a remainder sometimes there is no remainder suppose we are dividing by 3 and the number is 3 6 9 then we know that 3 1s are 3 3 2s are 6 and 3 3s are 9 so no remainder is there but suppose i am dividing 3 to 412 then i can see that 3 1s are 3 1 is the remainder 3 3s are 9 2 is the remainder and again the 3 7s are 21 and 1 is the remainder here is the quotient and here is after the slash we can write the remainder okay so this is with re remainder and this is without remainder but what happens if i divide 6 by 7 see 6 is smaller than 7 and so when i divide 6 to 7 i call it as a vulgar fraction okay so this is a vulgar fraction in this vulgar fraction we know we have studied the fractions that the upper part that is the divisor and the dividend two parts are there and this divisor is known as the numerator and the dividend is known as the denominator so this is the denominator and this is the numerator we have made seven parts of six denominator shows you how many parts are there and six shows you of what we have done the parts that is out of six we have done seven parts like this the vulgar fraction we also know the mixed numbers of course we will learn something about it in the next level that is the mixed fraction that is some part is a full part term as we write it as three and one half the three is a full part and one half is a fraction part so this is known as vulgar fraction proper fraction is when the numerator is less than the denominator and improper fraction also and so we know the two more terms that is the proper and improper fraction these are also known for the study of fractions but now in this Vedic mass level we are only studying something about the division see when we divide can we divide the fractions we know one more part of the fraction that is the decimal fraction suppose I want to divide 671 and I want to divide it by suppose 4 then what happens 4 1s are 4 again 2 is a frac uh, remainder then it becomes 27 so it is 4 6 are 24 so
so again three is the remainder and then again three four sevens are 28 and again there is a three remainder but for there is nothing so we can write the decimal over there and three zeros again I will write a decimal here also four sevens are 28 again the two remainder so, so again carry one zero over here and then it is four fives are 20. So like that if you want to divide 621 by 4 you can divide it as a vulgar fraction or as a decimal fraction also. Okay, this is our usual method and in this method what we have done in Vedic maths it is a one line answer always try to write the answer in one line so we have not carrying over and making the different steps as you do generally in your school maths. Okay, and so now we will go for the division. In the division what we do? Suppose we want to divide it by, we will start with, suppose we, I want to divide it by 9 uh, or 8, divide by 9 and 8. Suppose I will take both the examples. Then what we want to do? When we divide by 8, 9, like 6, 7, all these single digits, then we have to take the complement of that. What happens? Suppose I want to divide 111 and I want to divide it by 8. So first thing, it is very important that I will take a complement of 8. You know what is complement of 8 and so the complement of 8 is 2. Now what I will do? The first thing that I want to make a slash for this term. That is what will be the remainder. So where, where I will put the slash, that is how many digits are there, one and so I will put a slash after one digit. Now I will take this one as it is, there will be no difference in this and then multiply by this complement to one, then it will become two and then again one plus two will be three. And then make a slash, then 3 into 2 is 6 and 6 plus 1 is 7 and 13 is the quotient and 7 is the remainder. Can you understand this method? In this method what we have done, first thing we have taken a complement of what is we want to do, that is the divisor. That is complement of 8, I have written it down. And then make a slash after how many digits are there in the complement. So one digit, make a slash after one digit and then take one as it is. Okay. So again I will take one more example to explain this. Suppose I want to multiply, uh, divide 8 to 425. Then what I will do? Again make a slash after 1, write a complement of 2 and then it will be, I will take 4 as it is here and then make 4 2s are 8. See what happens here, 8 plus 2 becomes 10, okay and this 10 I have to add to a uh, previous number. Then this 10 plus 2, 10 into 2 gives 20. And so it is 25. So 25, I, you know, it is greater than 8. So I can subtract 8. 3s are 24 and add here and write 1 as a remainder 3 and 53. So this is a quotient and this is the remainder. Okay. So whenever you are dividing by 8, now we will go for the 9. Because the division by 9, it is a part of magic of 9. This is a part 2. Because in the multiplication also, we have studied some magic of 9. And now, by division in the 9. See, I will take some more uh, small example first and then we will go for the next one. Suppose I want to divide 
61 by 9. So again make a slash. What is the complement of 9? Is of course 1. Make 6 as it is. Then 6 into 1 will be 6 and then 7. And so this is 6 is a quotient and 7 is the remainder.